Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by my old friend Spencer Fearon, expert pundit and historian, of course. How's everything going? I'm really good, man. As, as things you're in, then? Good, good. I've just started uh, Run 31, this local charity thing. We have to run 31 miles in March over the 31 days. But when I found out about it, seven days had already elapsed. So that was a good start. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, get an Oyster card. <laughs> get my step counter. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. First thing I wanted to talk to you about is uh, Clarissa Shields, someone I know you've got a relationship with, you know very well. Um, she made history once again, um, no stranger to making history, of course, at the weekend, becoming the first person, first boxer of either gender to win undisputed world titles in two weight classes uh, in the four belt era. What did you make of that achievement? And how does it kind of stack up against, I guess, the, the male boxers who've achieved undisputed glory in recent years? Um, that's actually not true that she's the first boxer, male or female. That's not true. In the four belt era. Evander uh, Holyfield was the first. He was undisputed cruiserweight champion and undisputed heavyweight champion. In the uh, three belt era, not in the four belt era. Regardless of that, he's still <laughs> I did say that though when I did the intro. You what? I did say four belt era when I did the whole you know, Clarissa Shields boost up. You've ruined I'll it. Just check. You've ruined I'll just it. Just, <laughs> I was just yeah. um it's it's a, it's an incredible accomplishment for anybody to do it, male, female, or you know what I mean, or 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 <laughs> it's incredible. And to do it in the amount of fights that she's had as well. We gotta give Clarissa um all the props in the world, really, really good person. Uh, great, great fighter, uh, has a lot of skills and has overcome a lot. If you know her story, she's been through a lot. So, yeah, props to, props to her. Um, we spent a lot of time with her last year when she came over, myself and Tundi. So, yeah, she's, uh, you know, good, um, good ambassador for, for, for boxing. And she's very, very tenacious. Um, I think she's more skilled than, than how she fights. But I think she's trying to fight to become fan friendly and not try and bedazzle people with skills. That's why she's more all aggressive. And hence why her knockout ratio isn't that high. Um, I'm going to be real. I think she's trying to be too hard. I think she's got all the skill in the world where she could actually revert to, to kind of boxing a little bit. But that's the character that she is. But yeah, um, great fire, great accomplishment. And uh, I give props to my sister. And it should be celebrated even more. And what she just accomplished, it should be. And she's the self-proclaimed, quote, greatest woman of all time. Doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, I've got to say. But is she that, in your view? Do you think she's achieved that already at the age of 25? Um, i rather judge people when they're retired. Sure. Than when they're active. But if she's calling herself that, she's got every right for that sense of entitlement. But, you know, um, I saw Dimitri Salida, her manager, um, talking about a potential Katie Taylor match. Mm. Um, if if Katie can, can take care of the weight differential, that would be a fight that I'd love to see. But more than anything, I'd love to see Clarissa Shaw versus Shabana Marshall. That's the fight that I really, really want to see. Um, because I think there's something about Savannah Marshall, that reminds me a little bit of the 70s middleweight world champion, Carlos Monzo, as she picks her shots. She really does. Um, just go, go check it. I know you know Monzo is right, but the people who don't know, I would say to go and check out Carlos Monzo, and she's very, very reminiscent to me of Carlos Monzo. I'd like to see those two fight. And another thing about Shields is she seems to get, for me anyway, a disproportionate amount of criticism slash abuse at times on social media. Now, she got criticism most recently for um, comparing herself to Muhammad Ali. I think she said something like, Apart, after Muhammad Ali, she's the best or something like that, which a lot of people disagree with, and I accept that, but... It just seems to me if a male boxer had said the same thing, Floyd Mayweather, for example, calls himself TBE, 
they very rarely get that nasty strain of abuse that she seems to get. Do you, um, do you go along no, with that? Yeah. I, I, I understand, but sometimes it could be the energies that you are met and you have to also realise that haters or this thing of hate is actually confused admiration. People actually admire what you want to do, but they don't know how to express it. Or sometimes people look on you and think, well, you should not have accomplished. She came from nothing. She was dirt poor. She's accomplished something from us for, for herself and her family. And people are gonna look on that and 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 maybe judge it. And she's outspoken and and but she backs it up. Two-time Olympic gold medalist, a free weight world champion, right? And a two-time undisputed champion. Then we must salute her. So she's got every right to think how she thinks in the way that she thinks. Why? Because she's backed it up in all departments, amateur and professional. So I think people People complain and and and, um, and hate on people because that's just human nature, unfortunately. But she's excellent, and we should give her credit of being an excellent fighter. Do you think there's an element of sexism involved in that we're so used to seeing humble female boxers, ultra modest, not extrovert at all? You know, Katie Taylor, you mentioned Savannah Marshall, she's quite quiet by nature. We're not maybe the boxing world at large isn't ready for an outspoken female boxer. Um, I'm not buying into that. It's the totally honest truth. We're ready for loads of things. You know what I mean? If I could change my name and I could change my sexuality, I think the world's ready for anything. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not buying that. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Um, they should get accustomed to seeing um, Chris Shields because I think we're going to see her for a long, a long while. She's only 25 years old, so she's got another five years. Easily. I mean, we haven't been able, because there hasn't been that many female boxers to 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 wonder when do they peak or who we can put analogies to to balance it up. Well, what I do what I do say is this is that when we look on somebody like a Clarissa Shaw, we should be props to her for her accomplishments. She's uh it was actually a lady that was working for her. Um uh, Alvina Johnson, who who introduced us a lot of time for Alvina, she's my sister, man. Yeah, so yeah, she's a lovely, lovely human being. So yeah, I would I would say like when we say, oh, we're not accustomed right now with all this um, Meghan and Harry business. <laughs> right. I don't want, I don't I don't, don't want to talk too tough. You know what I mean? I don't want to talk too tough on this. You know what I mean? That's fair enough. I thought you were carrying on. I, mean, nope. I, gave, I gave you a pause for you to fill in, but we're all good. I know. 